Today's recipe is an ancient one. When I say ancient, I mean a recipe that dates back hundreds of years. This is a recipe which is of a shira. Not just any shira, but a pineapple shira. Now for the uninitiated, what is a shira? It's a halwa that we call in the north of India. When we keep driving southwards, we call it a shira. Let's begin pineapple shira. Indian desserts, generally people think are very complicated or very difficult, but trust me, that's not the case if you follow the recipe and the techniques to the tea. This is a recipe not only of techniques, but also of measured proportions. For the measured proportions, of course, please check the description box for every measurement and every ingredient. Let's begin with ghee in a kadai. Finest of ingredients are used, especially while making recipes like these. Also, just for your knowledge sake, this is also one of the recipes as a part of the listing in temple foods. Let's turn the flame on and allow the ghee to melt on medium flame. While the ghee is still about to melt, let me add in semolina and mix this well. The whole idea here is to ensure that the semolina is very well cooked. You do not have to roast it till it kind of begins changing color. It still has to retain the color. The idea of roasting semolina at this stage is very simple. Now, how do you gauge the temperature of semolina or the color of semolina? Initially, when you see it's pale yellow in color, when it begins to get fried, it just opens up as in the ghee starts frothing and the semolina turns white in color. That's when you lower the flame, give it a stir and add in dried black raisins. Let's stir this well for 30 seconds till they just kind of begin to bloom. Time to add in pineapple. In this case, freshly crushed pineapple. Let's stir this well. And allow the pineapple to also get sauteed or cooked for at least a minute on high flame. It's important for the rawness of the semolina and the pineapple to both go off. When I say crushed pineapple, all you need to do is take pineapple which is peeled. You also need to remove the eye of the pineapple and then you blitz it in a blender. When you blitz it, what happens is some part of the pineapple remains chunky and the other part becomes pulpy. That's the kind of pineapple puree that you need in this case. So here, if you see closely, you'll see the juice has actually gotten absorbed by the semolina and the chunks of pineapple are now getting lightly roasted. Let's add in milk as well as water. Let's turn the flame on high. Well, the traditional shira recipe is a combination of all ingredients of equal measures and proportions. Now, the important ingredients, when I say important ingredients, I mean the main core ingredients. Semolina, ghee, sugar, milk and water, equal proportions. And this is how it's written in older traditional books. Let's give this a mix. And at this stage, I'm also going to add in food grade color, which quintessentially goes in the recipe of pineapple shira. Let's add some water to the powdered color. Well, in case you get ready liquid color, by all means use that. To this, I'm also going to add in pineapple essence and crushed green cardamom seeds. Let's mix this well and allow this to cook on low flame for at least three minutes covered. Well, in case you're thinking where the sugar is, that's the trick of making a good shira. Let's cover this and cook it. Once the semolina gets cooked, We'll uncover it and add in the sugar, mix it, and then we'll see how it goes further. Let's have a quick check. Time to now add in the sugar. Let's mix this well and cover this and keep it for another two minutes on low flame. It's been a minute and a half. Let's uncover and mix all of this so that the sugar evenly mixes and brings out the natural flavor of the pineapple. Of course, we've added some essence as well. With this, our shira is done and ready. For the plating, let's transfer this in a bowl. Let's tap the top of the shira like so. Clean the sides and transfer this straight on the plate. Let's demold it like so. And on the sides, let's place in some slices of pineapple. Finally, I'm also going to take it to another level. Two petals from the crown of the pineapple. 
And there we have pineapple shira, which is reminiscent of ancient India. Make this for your family, make this for your friends, and stay connected. Rajshree Bhut. Bye for now.